I'm Ryan Erickson, and this is Project Synchro. So uh, let's see, last time we flipped the car over and I started using some of that rust converting black paint, that stuff I was brushing on the engine bay. Um, that actually worked better than expected. Uh, came back this week and it was uh, uh, even tougher than the stuff I had sprayed on. I don't know, again, how well it's gonna hold up, but uh, I'm really just hoping I can uh, uh, keep the rust from from coming through the, uh, the shell, through the primer and the top coat. Really, that's the only idea there. Obviously, I wouldn't be painting it black if that was gonna be anything other than uh, hidden. So, this time, uh, I took the seat mounts out so that I could start cleaning the floor pans and the interior of the car and uh, brushing some of that uh, rust converting stuff on the inside. Uh, much to my dismay, whenever I pulled the seat mounts out, I realized that I had missed uh, four not so critical welds, but welds that would be noticed uh, by maybe one or two people or one or two of the uh, people that I wouldn't want to notice welds missing on my seat mounts. See, now if I didn't plan on ever running Rally Mexico, I would have never ever cared about this because no one save maybe bikers in US Rally would even look or care about any of this. But everybody I've talked to that ran Rally Mexico had their car inspected with mirrors. And even the slightest uh, gap or, or little minute uh, uh, bubble or anything like that, they were forced to completely strip down and weld the night before the race to pass tech. So um, as much as I don't want to have to try and fill that gap from this middle of this to just this little corner, maybe a half inch, uh, I'll have to do it because once I paint the car and get everything done, if I was ever run an event like that, not that anybody like Pikes Peak would ever care that I had a roll cage, but um, for sanctioning bodies that really, 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 really care, they would get upset about that little half inch, which sucks because I completely forgot that. not the biggest safety issue in the world, but uh, I know it would, uh, it would keep me up at night and I would uh, be a little bit worried not to have them. So unfortunately, that nice pretty paint job that's on the bottom of the car was, uh, I would say, compromised by uh, four little welds that I had to put on my uh, seat mounts. And uh, thankfully, it really didn't burn much of the paint off, maybe only what you would consider a heat-affected zone on a weld anyway, so half inch on either side. Um, so I just kind of cut my losses on that. I'm gonna have to touch it up on the bottom, brush on some paint there whenever I get a chance. And I moved on to the back of the car, cleaned up the fuel cell area, and uh, brushed all the problematic rust areas just like I did in front. I did that on the interior of the car. So uh, we're getting a lot closer to painting the entire car at this point. Really the only thing that I have left to prep is a little uh, area on the rear uh, corner of the car where I had uh, mistakenly touched it with the wire wheel trying to uh, uh, weld something on there way back almost you know, a year and a half ago whenever I first uh, started on this project. So. Um, Exposed quite a bit of Bondo and it looks like garbage, so I hate doing body work. Obviously, I hate doing uh, 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 fiber fill and, and icing even more than painting. So um, I'm sure the back of the car will end up looking like garbage, but hopefully the garbage paint I put over the top of the garbage Bondo will um, maybe, I don't know, cancel each other out or something. So. Never ends. This whole rear area is all screwed up. There were like two holes right here from where the badge was mounted up. So back when I started this, I thought, oh, I'll just uh, cover those up. 
So of course I went to, to hit it with a wire wheel to clean it up, touched it, and there's an eighth inch of Bondo over the entire back of the car. Here we go. Can't wait to do this. Definitely have no idea what I'm doing. Let me get a beer. Uh, we'll see that next time uh, whenever I try and mix up uh, some better version of Bondo. I hate to use the word Bondo. It's kind of like saying Kleenex. Uh, uh, thanks to my buddy Mark, I've got something a lot better than that and uh, we'll see if I can make it work. We have something called a rectal tube, or um, it's called a Dignicare because you are giving a patient dignity by not letting them shit all over themselves. Dignicare. It's like, yes. it's like the poop tube. <laughs> <laughs> Tim and Eric. It <laughs> goes up the, uh, the into the tube. urinal. The poop yeah, into the <laughs> urinal, <laughs> yes. It really works. <laughs> And it's the, the kids one is the gerbil yep. tubes and it whoop, <laughs> comes out and it's got a shower head on it. Y'all are gross. Yeah, and they get like like chocolate syrup. It's and Tim and Eric. It's hilarious. Bang bang cops and robbers, that one. <laughs> one you hate. <laughs> oh, okay.